Welcome back to the channel, guys. Long time no see. Um, but yeah, do some more Kubota stuff today. It's gonna be a little different than what you're probably used to seeing in tractor videos. We're gonna do some ceramic coating on the nice little paint finish. Try and preserve that nice little Kubota orange and uh, make it a little easier to clean. Uh, so. Stay tuned, I guess. In other Kubota news, got myself a new little toy there. That is a Baylin County I believe that's the brand name, Baylin County. Four foot brush hog, rotary mower, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we got that from Blaine's Farm and Fleet on a little clearance. That guy was $495. Couldn't pass it up. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but we'll see what we can chop down. Uh, so, more videos in the future. But uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to get this guy all cleaned up. This will be the first wash ever and the first wash after uh, winter get all that snow and there shouldn't be much salt on it but maybe a little bit so let's get at her all right so we got her washed off I guess rinsed off, I don't know. Pressure washer. Now we're gonna use this bad guy. I mean, shameless plug. We're a Griot's garage dealer. I love this thing, little foaming sprayer. If you haven't used one of these, they're awesome. You'll see why in just a second. So yeah, got the tractor all washed up and dried off. So now we're getting ready to go towards the ceramic coating process. What we're gonna, no, no, no. What we're gonna use on this guy is some Avalon Kings Armor Shield 9. Comes in a little package like that. I'm not sponsored by them, but I'll throw the link down below. Uh, we use this on quite a few cars. Um, this is going to be a little bit of an abbreviated process compared to doing it on the cars because it is a tractor. I mean, I'm a pretty boy tractor owner and I like to keep my things nice. Probably unnecessary to ceramic coat it. But um, after all, it is a tractor. It's going to get beat up, so not going to go crazy on prep. We're not going to buff it or anything. It's got 30 hours on it. It's in pretty decent shape. I just want to Keep it a little easier to clean. So the stuff that is not painted, I mean the gray stuff, stuff that's not orange. Let's go with the stuff that is not orange. We're gonna hit with some fluid film. So like the undercarriage and stuff, try and keep everything as nice as possible, as long as possible. Uh, most of you guys have a pretty good investment into the tractors, you might as well keep it decent. So uh, first thing we're gonna do, Wipe her down with a little alcohol. Get all the waxes, dirt, whatever. I don't know what's on a tractor. Off there. And then uh, we can start with the coating process. All right, so I'm gonna start with the hood here. We'll probably do the loader frames. 
Uh, pretty much it's a dab some on, wipe it in a cross hatch, and uh, give it one to five minutes, wipe it off. So we'll do that. Just kind of ooh, get around, hit all the painted stuff, bump the camera while we're at it. But essentially, I mean, this is like, so it's like nano ceramic stuff. I don't know exactly how it works. But, you know, they show pictures of microscopically the paint clear coat looks like mountain ridges and this fills it in smooth. So we're making it smooth. But uh, we do it on cars all the time. What I like is the water beads like mad and the cars are much easier to clean once they're ceramic coated. Uh, the dirt tends to want to stick to the water and not to the paint, which is nice. So even when you're like driving in rain, it kind of rinses stuff off. So we'll see if it helps with this. And then another plus side is like bird droppings or bugs or any environmental stuff. That stuff doesn't really affect it. Doesn't eat into it like it would. So you left the bird dropping on there. It'll eat right into that paint. You'll see that ghosted in there for the rest of the life of the paint unless you buff it out. And sometimes you can't buff it out. So this will help prevent some of that and I'll kind of show you right here I'll put another clip in right now of what it does with car paint wasn't that wicked beads like mad so we'll just keep throwing some on here. This isn't going to be as uh, thorough as when doing a car. There's a lot more crevices and stuff. I don't think we'll be able to hit everything without creating a fuck, without creating a mess. So it is what it is, but we'll do the best we can. Another thing I want to do with this stuff is I don't have it here because we're at the shop, not at home, is I would like to uh, try it on the inside of the mower deck and see if the grass doesn't stick to it quite the same because I think with the way it's been some wet grass or anything might not grab on quite the same rate as it does to a non-coated surface just from what I've seen on the other stuff. So yeah, we'll give this a rub down. And the other thing, kind of hoping that maybe if I leave this out in the sun a little bit, this will kind of aid in the notorious paint fade. You know, hopefully it'll prevent some of that that the Kubotas are good at. We shall see. Now that's something I won't know for a long period of time, so I won't be able to actually tell you if it did or not. All right, we'll hit the inside of the bucket, and just like the uh, inside of the mower deck theory on the grass not sticking, maybe this will help on mud and dirt shedding a little easier. Not that it's been a huge problem, but every little bit helps. I mean, I could have made this easier and lifted it up, but I'm not that smart, so we'll just suffer through it. There's already quite a bit of scratches going on on this because I have been using it. Not that this would prevent scratches anyways. All right, so we're gonna take our handy dandy microfiber right there and start wiping it off. I usually wipe off a section. I did the headlights too, that'll keep them from getting 
faded. Not that it's going to happen. So I usually wipe off a section on a car, then flip that microfiber over, and buffer clean. Works pretty slick. So came off pretty good. And we'll keep going. Probably make you guys sick being I'm holding the camera, but is what it is. Um, big thing on this is you do want to get all of it off because it will leave dark spots that will attract dust if you leave it go. Um, gets kind of like sticky and you'll see it all hazy. And that's no good. You don't want that. You're trying to prevent stuff sticking to it so you might as well do it correctly. Get it all off. hit this side make sure we get it and stuff's nice gives it a little extra shine nothing crazy but everyone likes a little more shine in their toys you know when you spend twenty thousand dollars on something yeah it's nice to have it looking good We're getting close. We'll get the bucket mopped out here. I'm going to set you down so you don't have to go on the shaky tour. There, much better. That way I can actually get this all done. See so yeah, we got the... F oh, I guess I can get out of the way. We got the front half done. All wiped down cleaned, ceramic coated, protected. This stuff's supposed to be good for three to five years. I don't know what they tested tractor wise, but we shall see. Now to do the back half, which is right there. We'll get her all coated, wiped down, and then we'll let her dry so you can see the benefit. Another neat little thing, it's going to be kind of hard to see in the camera, but now you can see it there a little bit. Right there. On coated. Coated. So you can do your plastics too. And it gives it a nice little shine, keeps them nice a little bit longer. So yeah, don't be afraid to run it over some other things. I kind of sloppily did this tractor. So. This isn't the go-to on how to do this. It's just showing that I'm a nard. So, yep. We'll wipe her off now. All right, guys, so we got the tractor all coated. We're gonna let it sit and dry. I'm probably gonna test the hood just to show you before I should. Um, I'll recoat that in the, uh, I mean, I'm trying to get the video done not wait forever because the tractor won't be here uh, we'll probably move it back home so we'll wait a couple hours test that guy show you the hydrophobic effectiveness of the ceramic coating but in that uh we will do the mower deck and i'll get home and clean the backhoe and do that as well so let's set you guys up and uh hang on for a couple hours here or zero seconds in video editing. And uh, we'll test this guy out and you can see it bead. All right, we got a little bit of water here. We're gonna pour it there. Watch this guy shed. Look at that. Zips right off or that right there. That's why we did this. That water beating capability should be easier to clean. Uh, paint maintenance. Not that I do a whole lot of an odd tractor anyways. Um, but yeah, if you feel the need to try and keep your tractor as nice as possible, do some ceramic coating. Keep that paint looking nice. It's a good, uh, good project for the self-quarantine. You know, if you're stuck locked down for 14 days like the rest of us, might as well do something useful. So, yeah, anyways, 
we'll catch you guys on the next video. Kubota related, it might be setting this guy up. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to this. I have to set it up, level it out both ways. I don't know how high you're supposed to have a brush hog, but we'll figure that out. And then um, we're gonna get into PTO shaft cutting. I've never actually had a PTO driven implement before. So we'll have that. Anyways, uh, stay safe out there and uh, catch you guys on the next video. Thanks.